Now, here's your pinpoint weather forecast with meteorologist Henry Grant. Well, we're through the halfway point now, and we're going to be still keeping an eye on some dreary weather as we kick off our Wednesday. We can see all of that cloud cover around, but roads along Green Street in Marietta not looking too bad, drying out a bit as we just really look at some scattered showers this morning. So, Jandil Sky Camp looking at 58 degrees, already a mild start to the day, but that cloud cover we're looking at right now is going to prevent our temperatures from really climbing up this afternoon. So as you head out the door, you don't want to forget that umbrella. I know we are looking at drier roads in downtown Marietta. You can still see those light showers showing up on radar and a bit of a mess across the region. But of course, the one thing we'll be tracking for this week is this developing low down south around Texas. That's going to be making its way up north into the Great Lakes, and that's going to continue to bring in our chance of rain today. But the threat for some strong to severe thunderstorms for our Thursday. So we're going to jump straight into future cast. We'll see our temperatures climbing up a bit. We still have that southerly wind bringing in the warmer air, but the sunshine not going to be looking at a lot of that. That's why we'll only see temperatures climb into the upper 60s today. But overall shower activity not looking at a lot of that. It will be mainly light. We'll see more of that start to move in later on this evening and overnight tonight. But now we're moving into our Thursday. We'll start off tomorrow morning with showers pushing through, but then thunderstorms popping up. Still that chance into the later part of the morning. Nothing severe, but then you start to notice that quick warm up with our temperatures upper 70s tomorrow afternoon, even looking at that chance for low 80s down towards the south. But depending how we play out that cloud cover, that's going to help to develop our thunderstorms. And we'll see that chance for some severe storms in the afternoon and through that evening commute. But we turn everything off by around 7 o'clock with that cold front pushing through. So that's a threat for severe weather, not as high as last week. Again, time frame. 3 to 7 p.m. tomorrow. Main threat damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour, but still can't rule out that isolated hail and tornado threat and also flash flooding risk. But then that sunshine, I know we've been waiting for that. That will return Saturday and temperatures quickly warming up. Next week could potentially see those low 80s. But now time to take a look at what's trending.